Good evening, YouTube. Anybody on BookTube, this is Johnny. It's been a couple of days since I made a video. Today is, I'm, I'm not sure what day today is. I did write in my composition notebook. I write in this when I come down the lower level at night before I go into bed. I have my paper diary upstairs in my study. But last night I closed on December the 24th. 2022 so today is obviously the 25th of December and I think it's a it's a Sunday so it is Sunday evening it is 5 15 according to my wall clock over there and uh, as most people know in a We've gone through a winter blizzard here in West Michigan and we're snowed in. But it's supposed to be in the 40s by the end of the week. So the snow will melt and we'll probably be under flood warnings. But this video is, uh, I've had, I haven't done a used book haul in a while. I have gotten new books in the mail. I got this book in the mail last week. Everybody thought we were crazy. Dennis Hopper, Brooke Hayward, in the 1960s Los Angeles by Mark Rezo. I've been reading this uh, off and on. Uh, so uh, I got this in the mail. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I've shown this book I got in the mail a couple weeks ago, Sudden Death, a novel by... Alvaro Inrego, and this is translated by Nastasha Wimmer. Sudden Death, this is a novel. He was, it says here, oh, oh. he's taught here in America. But this is, I suppose he's a Spanish from Spain. But I got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, this video is books I got at the, I haven't really gone to thrift stores due to the bad weather. I don't like going out driving around when the weather is bad, snow, icy roads. I just don't like driving in bad weather. So even though there's local thrift stores around me, I don't like going outside and skidding on icy roads. I just don't like it. So I think, but a couple of weeks ago, before we had the snowstorm, my wife and I, we went out one day. I can't remember why we went out. Oh, I think we needed ink for our printer. Did I show those? books I don't remember now I don't remember but I will show you the books well I got uh, some books I got at the book nook I got the the, li the book nook for those who don't know I volunteer at the local library used bookstore the book nook it was closed Friday the last Friday because of the blizzard and tomorrow I'm supposed to volunteer and as far as I know the library is open tomorrow so I'll be there from 10 to 1 at the Book Nook. But I got this, these books at the Book Nook. I got this one, Blitzed, Drugs and the Third Wreck uh, by Norman Aller. It's about uh, the Nazi regime. I'm preaching, not preaching, I'm reading from the back. The Nazi regime, regime preached an ideology of physical, mental, and moral purity. Yet, as Norman Oler reveals in this in gripping new history, the Third Reich was saturated with drugs, cocaine, opiates, and most of all, methanamines. Methanamines. Troops were encouraged, in some cases, ordered to take rations, a form of crystal meth. The elevated energy and feelings of invincibility associated with the high even helped to account for the breakneck, break, breakneck invasion that sealed the fall of France in 1940, as well as other 
German military victories. Hitler himself became increasingly dependent on a cocktail of drugs, uh, including Aconol, a cousin of heroin, administrated by his personal doctor. I heard about this Bach, Bach, this book, and I came into the book nook and I bought it. What else has come into the book nook? I think that's the only one. I think I got this at the book nook. See, I'm not sure if I shown show these. This is Graceland, a novel by Chris Albany. I'm not sure if I got this at the book nook or at a thrift store. But uh, I got a Delphi Lamore novel, The Scrapegoat. Used. I'm not sure if I've shown these. My memory is. I don't think I can't. I can't remember. But I started collecting her again. I. I have four or five of her novels. A biography of her. I got this at the book nook. This is the Russian debutante's handbook by Gary Shetnagard. I had this book, but I dehauled it, and I. But I have other books by him, which are over there, and I wanted this one. This is a New York notable book, so I got that. I, I got that at the book nook. These, this book, my wife got at a thrift store last week. She was at Gateway, which is the Holland Rescue Mission. She got me this biography in Eisenhower by Jeffrey Perret. And she also got me Jeffrey Perret's biography, Old Soldiers Never Die, A Life of Douglas MacArthur. I have another biography of Douglas MacArthur when I was a boy, when I lived in Virginia, Virgi Norfolk, Virginia, I went and visit. The, the, there is, as far as I remember, a Douglas MacArthur Museum in Norfolk, Virginia. Now, now I haven't checked that out, but uh, I like biographies. I know you don't collect biographies on military figures. I do have a large Napoleon collection, uh, U.S. Uh, General Grant, who was a president of the United States. I have him. And I have some books on Hitler. Well, I don't know if you call him really a soldier, Hitler. Uh, I don't know who else I have. I have some other biographies of military figures, but my wife got this for me, along with this Eisenhower biography. I had a large Eisenhower biographies. I had Nixon, Reagan, uh, Clinton, uh, Kennedy. I got I dehauled most of those. But I did keep my Lincoln and my FDR and Teddy Roosevelt and uh, Grant, President Grant. I kept George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John and Quincy Adams I kept, but most of those presidential biographies I got rid of. I did pick this book up at the book nook last week. This is Garcia, who was a, a band mem a band in the band, and the Grateful Dead. This is Jerry Garcia from the Grateful Dead. This is a, his biography. By Amer it's called Garcia American Life by Blair Jackson. I collect books on the Grateful Dead. I'm, I never really was a deadhead. I did see the Grateful Dead when I, when we lived in Houston, Texas. They played there in Houston and I went and saw the Grateful Dead. And uh, I also saw Bob Dylan when I, we lived in Houston. And, but one time I did see Jerry Garcia 
back in the mid 70s at a club in Berkeley. He had his own band, Jerry Garcia. He had a band besides the Grateful Dead that he performed in. He had his own band. But I got that at the book nook. I like biographies. As you know, I collect biographies. Uh, I got this Sleepwalker and a Fog Stories by Tanya Tol Tolenste. She's a Russian writer. I had another book by her in my library, which I think I dehauled. This is her story. It's translated by Jamie G Gambrell. She's a Russian writer. This is a novel by Richard Baxter, who I collect. I had this in paperback. First Light is one of his first novels. I think this came out in... This one came out in... I kept, I didn't dehaul him. I kept his novels because I want to read him someday. But this one came out in... What year did this one come out? It doesn't say... What year... Oh, here we go. 1987, this came out. Charles Baxter. I collect his writings, his novels. My wife also got me this at a thrift store. This is the Leather Stocking Tales, who was by Fillmore Cooper. These are all uh, his novels in the, le le the Leather Stocking Saga. The Deerslayer, The Last of the Mohicans, The Pathfinder, The Pioneers in Prairie, which especially pertain to Natty Bimbo, otherwise known as Pathfinder, Deerslayer, or Hawkeye. The whole range in a chronological order from Hockley's youth on the New York frontier and King George's War into his death on the Western Prairies during the Jefferson's administration. My wife got me that. The Leather Stocking Saga is one of my favorite uh, American novels. It's a, a series of novels. The Last Mohicans, The uh, the Deer Slayer, The Pathfinder, The Pioneers, and The Puri, which are one of my favorite works. One thing I wish I hadn't dehauled is I had the complete works of James Fermore Cooper that I bought at the Book Nook, an old late 19th century edition and I dehauled them and which I wish I hadn't done but at that time I was getting rid of books and I look back and wonder why did I get rid of those I don't know but if I ever get them again I also found at a thrift store with my wife I think the farewell symphony a novel by Edmund White I collect the writings of Edmund White uh, so I got that. My wife also found at Gateway the memoirs of John E. Ken Kenyon, 1995 to 1950. I had this, but I can't find it. I must have dehauled it because I have I have his writings and I have this biography on George F. Kenyon. American Life by John Lewis Gaddis. And I also have The Kenyon Diaries by George Kenyon. And I have, he wrote books. I have, he wrote books on the American, uh, America and the Cold War, Russian and Stalin, and uh, other things that I have. I collect books on the American Cold War, the, Europe, the Cold War period. And he was a major figure during the Cold War and wrote about our... He was an ambassador to Russia. He wrote about Soviet and American... The, uh, history and things like that. So I got this... I don't know where how I lost this, but my wife found this for me. 
I also, I don't know if I've shown this, I got this at a thrift store, John Murr, The Eight Wilderness Discovery Books. This is John Murr with Teddy Roosevelt. He was a very famous conservationist, you know, Yellowstone. Uh, he wrote uh, on Yosemite, I think Yosemite. This, this is the story of my book. In this volume by, is the writings of John Muir, the story of my bo boyhood and youth, a thousand mile walk to the Gulf, my first summer in the Sierra, the mountains of California, our national parks, Yosemite, travels in Alaska, steep trails. And then I got at the book nook this huge old photo book of old photos. It's 1,000 photos. It's called uh, A Century, A Visual History of the Century. And it goes from 19, I mean, uh, forgot the years, from 1899 till 1999 are these old photos. And as you all know, I love the old photos and and uh, so things like it's, it's very hard to pick it up because I hurt myself. But photos like that, photos like that. So I got that. This is a novel I got by Christina Lamb, The African House. I found at a thrift store a novel. Uh, it's, well, I don't know if it's really a true story of an English gentleman and his African dream. I suppose it's more of a autobiography than a novel. So that's what I got. I. I've been reading, rereading the essays, See What I See by Greg Gerkel. I've been reading that still. Still been reading uh, How I Became a Socialist by William Morris. What else? Uh, so in the mornings I'm still reading Stephen Charnock on the Existence Attributes of God. I'm still reading uh, other Christian books. I don't have anything coming in the mail this week. Well, I do have a book coming in the mail on exegesis, biblical exegesis coming in the mail. And maybe tomorrow at the book nook I'll find something. But uh, like I said, the weather, I don't really go to thrift stores when the weather's really bad. And I just got those 29 volumes of Bolzac and I got books all around me to read, so I don't really need anything. What I need is to settle down and read what I have. I do been I have been reading this at night, The Black Sun, Depression and Melancholy by Julian Christrea. I read this off and on. I've been reading it off and on since I got it last year. This came out in yeah, this came out in oh, I didn't say nineteen eighty. I I keep these books like on my desk here, reading America, essays of American literature by Dennis Donahue. I was reading here on Henry Adams' novels, Whitman, uh, all kinds of stuff. I like to read Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Alan Tate, Wallace Stevenson, Marilyn Moore, Wallace Stevens. Uh, so I always keep those. And, I always got books all around me to read. So that's what I do. I read, I write my online diary, I write my paper diary. 
watch the birds, watch the snow fall, going into a new year, 2023, soon it'll be June the 1st, and uh, yeah, we're rushing into eternity. So I hope you had a good reading week, that you had a good holiday, that you have a good new reading week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for all your comments. Do pray that you're all doing well. If you got any questions about the books seen in these videos, be free to ask me. As I sometimes I get comments and people think I'm reading these books. I'm primarily a book collector. Like Edmund White. I, I collect Edmund White, but I can't remember reading him. I collect them. I have read the Leather Stocking Saga by Fillmore Cooper. Uh, I collect the writings of Charles Baxter. I have not read him. This is his first novel, First Light. I, I did read this biography of, on George Ken, F. Kenyon. I had this first in paperback, but then I found this at a thrift store several months ago, and I bought it. A hardback. I gave the paperback to the book nook. I have read his diaries. And uh, I have been reading my new book. Everybody thought we were crazy. Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper was a very famous movie actor, photographer. He collected art. He knew Andy Warhol. He was in the movie Easy Rider with uh, Peter Fonda. And uh, oh, I don't know if I showed you this. This is another novel I picked up, Lark and Termite, a novel by J.N. and Phillips. I collect, if I see a novel that looks interesting, I'll buy it. This was a New York notable book, one of the best books of the year, Chicago Tribune, Christian Science Monitor, The Washington Post. And when I um, cataloged this in library thing, I had another novel of hers, which I think I dehauled. But this is Lark and Termite. Yeah, I collect a lot of novels that I don't read, but if they look interesting and they're really cheap, I'll just get them. And then I find out I had another novel by that person in my library. I'm always collecting books on drugs. That's why I got Blitz, Drugs during the th in the Third Right by Norman Oler. I like reading works in translation, especially South American writers, writers in Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, Japan, Russia, France. But that's why I bought this. So I'll stop my rambling. I'll sign off. Once again, feel free to comment. Feel free to ask me any questions. Once again, like I'm a book collector, but I'm a reader. I'm a bookworm. I love books. I have going on 15,000 books down here. And uh, yeah, if I could afford it, I'd have 15,000 more. <laughs> if I had the space and the bookshelves, I would just, but like I said in my videos, I got rid of a couple thousand books last year. And and I regret it, but I needed the space. <laughs> well, I'll sign off once again. Hope you're all doing well. Have a good new year. May the Lord return soon. Until next time, bye.